Hello, thank you for joining me today. Transformers, been on the Facebook groups, seeing that a lot of people don't know how these things work. Thought I'd just give a little bit of information. Not going to go into it too deep because this is Gary Keep It Simple. So, how do Transformers work? Keep tuned. Right, first thing to know about Transformers is they are made up of basically two lots of wire. Unless it's an auto transformer, we'll cover that in a minute. So you've got a set of wire, goes around a lump of metal, and then you've got another set of wire, runs away from that metal. So the two windings are totally separate. There is no connection between the two windings on a normal transformer, which is why they're very good for being isolation transformers. What that means is you can have a signal coming in one side, which can be messy and, and nasty, and on the other side you'll have a signal which is not connected to it, but is actually picking it up. It's just a, a gentle way of getting it across. That's one way of putting it anyway. The other thing we've got here is we've got an auto transformer. Now an auto transformer works on a very similar principle, but unlike oh, I said before, it is only one wire with bits taken off it. And we'll cover that in a sec. Because what actually happens, you don't want me to go into ma major maths on this, but basically if you've got a thousand turns on the primary and you've got 500 turns on the secondary, then you'll get half the voltage out that you put in. On the other hand, if you've got 1,000 on the primary and 2,000 on the secondary, you'll get twice as many volts as what comes in. That's why it's useful. Now, when you look at the auto transformer, you can see that actually you've got one wire comes up and it goes all the way through that coil and all the way up to the top, and you've got tappings off that single wire. It still works on the voltage per turns, but because the whole thing is across the mains, the result is that if you go halfway up the coil you get half the mains out. The good thing about auto transformers is they're relatively cheap to make. The bad thing about them is there is no isolation. So if it's mains in, it's mains out, as in there is a, a live, a neutral and an earth. And if you touch the live, which is what the output is, and earth, you will cook as per normal. With a standard normal transformer, you wouldn't normally have that problem. They do sometimes with normal transformers tie them to earth but that's a different thing the actual principle of the way they work is not that way that's why you have these things called isolation transformers because this is useful if you want to repair electrical circuits that are on the mains you don't want to have the earth connected these transformers can weigh 5, 10, 15, 20 pounds depending on, on the rating they are and then we get to this little one this is about two ounces of transformer. You can see how small that is. That's out of a radio. And it works on exactly the same principle. Coils, volts, turns. This, on the other hand, is the size of a garden shed. And this one works well, about the size of a dustbin. And we've all seen something similar to that, if not one of those. The points to take away about transformers is that they are big, heavy, or they're small, and that they are used to convert voltages either up or down from the original input. They only overwork with AC and you have to be careful about them because you never know what's coming out if you haven't looked at the specs. Obviously there's a lot more to go into with transformers if you want to but this is just all you need to know on the surface of it. Catch us again, like, subscribe, push a button, do something, catch you later. Bye bye.